Hey everybody, it's Nerdy30. Thanks for tuning in for another video. I apologize about the absence that I've had in regards to how long it's taken me to get these content, the pieces that I keep promising out. Life's just very busy right now, as I've said in previous videos, between uh, my predicament with the medical separation from the military, I have two kids, a wife in college, it's, it's busy. I'm trying to get this computer thing up and going so when I do retire, I can uh, really focus on what I love. So I'm going to try a new video format where I'm going to try to get a little bit smaller videos out. I know it's not as great as me recording gameplay, but with just the number of computers that I'm putting out every week, it's almost impossible for me to record an hour or two of game footage for every computer that I make. So uh, let me know how you like this format. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe if you do. If you don't, leave a comment for constructive criticism because I'm always up for feedback. Thanks, and I hope you enjoyed the video. So today's video is on a budget esports computer that I put together out of mostly parts that I've had sitting around in my death pile. It's nothing fancy, it's nothing flashy, but with a 4th gen i7-4770 and an RX 554 gig, it should do pretty well as a first stepping stone computer into getting into PC gaming. I put the system together for maybe $65 because I had to purchase a 1TB SSD and the graphics card. Originally, I had a R9270X to go with the system, but the card just kept malfunctioning and I just can't sell a computer with a faulty component. Case was kind of cheap on the system, but it was actually pretty easy to work with. And I'm actually pretty happy with how the basic cable management looked. And I really, really actually enjoyed this build. I, I had this build done in about a day, day and a half. And by that I mean, you know, a couple hours in the first day, maybe an hour in the next day. Good thing with this system, though, is having the two 6 plus 2 PCIe power connectors means the system can hold a way better graphics card than what I had. But unfortunately, this was the extra card I had, and the system that this 550 was supposed to go into wound up not working. As you can see, it's got a good array of ports on the back, and... I think me asking them $125 to $140 for it's pretty fair for a system to just get into basic PC gaming. Here's the system's benchmark results. The system was tested at 1080p low in Unigen Heaven 4.0 and we got about 85 FPS which is not too terrible considering the price. Here are the system specs using a website called systemlabrequirements.com. This computer program scans the hardware on your system and then compares it to its database of games against its minimum and recommended system requirements to give you an idea if your system is going to be able to play the games. Here are a list of some very common popular games that this system should be able to handle, no problem. While for the price point it's kind of hard to justify spending so little on a computer, I think this is a great stepping stone for someone who's looking for that first computer. So once again, thank you for watching. Tell me what you think about this new format. I'm hoping with making smaller, shorter videos like this with some bigger videos peppered in here and there, I'll be able to get more content uploaded more regularly uh, than I have been. So once again, if you like it, please like, share, and subscribe. If you don't, leave a comment telling me what I can improve on. Once again, thank you for watching. I'm Nerdy30, and I'm signing out.